What's going on everyone? Chris here from Corelton Gaming and welcome back to Spyro the Reignited Trilogy. Two and a half years ago, we closed off the first chapter of our little purple dragon starting off in his first adventure against the big guy himself, Nasty Nork. We finally put that to rest. And now, this time, we're going to go into the next story. We are going to be playing Spyro 2 Ripto's Rage. Now the reason I passed out really quickly is because uh, there's a bit of a spoiler here that I was trying to test out and um, yeah, I was trying to test some things out and I uh, for the beginning to make sure everything was fine and uh, it accidentally spoils where uh, you start. Um, for example, you see the Artisan's World. Yeah, it shows off the first area even though yeah, let's just say it's just spoilers. Well, until you begin the game, at least. Now, I'm sure a lot of people have said that Spyro 2 Ripto's Rage is probably one of the best in the trilogy. Some people might say you're the dragon, but for me, I have a soft spot for Ripto's Rage. And just like the last series, I'm going to be doing a blind plus informative in-depth analysis of this entire game because I know a lot of Spyro's mechanics and especially I know a lot about what goes into most of the mechanics in the game as well. Just also to let you know that even though this is a, sequ a pure sequel from the uh, first game, Spyro the Dragon, this actually comes with its own original story. So if you've never played the first game or have never seen my Let's Play of it, don't worry about it. It's an entirely new different story with some references. That's pretty much it. So, without further ado, let's go into the next story, Spyro 2, Ripto's Rage. Minor spoilers back there, but hey, what can you do? It's not going to be spoiled until, like, what, a minute later? Let's just continue our adventure with our little purple dragon. Is this rain ever going to stop? I've forgotten what the sun looks like. We should go on vacation. Somewhere warm. Somewhere sunny. Dragon Shores, yeah. I haven't been there since we kicked Nasty Nork's butt. How about it, Sparks? You up for a vacation at the beach? Last one there's a Nork. Is it working, Professor? Almost. Just a few more adjustments to these orbs and... Maybe this isn't such a good idea. Bringing a dragon here could just make Ripto more angry. Calm down, Hunter, and stop fidgeting. But you saw the Professor's book. They have claws like this, and teeth like this, and they can spit fire like this. <laughs> they sound much more dangerous than Ripto. That's exactly the point. A dragon is our only chance of stopping Ripto, and you know it. It's working. It's working. I've got a dragon. Huh? <gasps> Whoa, rough landing. Hi, which way's the beach? Hmm. Huh? Hey, stop staring. Haven't you guys ever seen a dragon before? You're a dragon? You got a problem with that pussy cat? Ah! Well, well, someone forgot to invite me to the party. Were you trying to keep something from me? A dragon? You brought a dragon to Avalar? I hate dragons. Yeah! I... <laughs> Crush! Kill it! Kill it! <laughs> Go, you imbecile! You hate my scepter! I'll deal with you later! Who was that jerk? That was Ripto, and we have to get rid of him. 
is causing all sorts of trouble around here, but I haven't got time to explain. Here, take this magic guide to Avalar. It'll help you begin to understand our worlds. Right now, I have to follow Ripto and see what he's up to. I'll meet you in Summer Forest, okay? Hey, wait a minute! How do we get ourselves into these messes, pal? I know what you're thinking. You're probably asking the same question that a lot of other Spyro fans ask. So we're just gonna forget that this ever happened. Uh-oh, here we go again. Yes, yes we are, because the developers sure have, well, at least the original developers. We'll get into that later. Right now, let's go on through. Hi, Spyro, welcome to Glimmer. Unfortunately for us, a mob of lizards just showed up and started stealing all of our gems. Can you stop them? Ah, don't worry, little, your little mousy head, buddy. We're going to protect you at all costs. Even though I don't know what we're protecting, we're still going to protect you at all costs. Welcome to Glimmer, one of the first areas in Avalar. Now, as you can see, there are a lot of gems here. Just your typical collection thon. Uh, we're going to go over about what Sparks does, because I am going to let you know. That even though this is the sequel to Spyro, like I've said before in the beginning, I do want to let you know that, um, what was I going to say? Wow, I'm losing my train of thought here. Even though we are pl planning on, even though we are playing a sequel, I do want to let you know that I am going to be treating this as someone's first time because this is its own separate story. I don't feel like it's really necessary to, um... I don't feel, feel like it's really necessary to uh, to just, you know, just keep going, I guess. What I'm trying to say is, if you're a first-timer, I'd be happy to go over everything that Spyro and Sparks does, a, a, a.k.a. the Dragonfly. I'm going to go every over every little mechanic that I do know because I have played the, this game before. At least not all of it, at least the original, but I have played enough of it. These ladybugs will give Sparks energy. Sparks is your health meter in this game. So I will go over that a little later, but right now, I will get rid of this guy. And usually, in the first game, enemies drop gems. However, this guy drops a little bit of drops of spirit. Okay, never mind. Uh, soul. That better... I'll just call him soul point. I was going to call him a different kind of point, but again, I don't want to anger other people, if you know what I'm saying. Let's go on forward here. Hi, Spyro. I'm a friend of Alora's, and she asked me to help you out. Whenever you find me, I'll remember your progress. Like this. That zap means that if you get into trouble, I'll return you to this place. See you around. So, as you can see, this is a save fairy. Uh, the save fairies in the, uh, the first game actually look a lot different. I don't know why they changed the design, but hey, we're in the second, we're in another second dimension. No, we're in another dimension. I do, almost, I do also want to let you know, that is not a zap. In the original version, she actually strikes a lightning bolt at you. I kid you not, she actually does that. And you're probably wondering, how does the spiral not feel a thing? Well, it's because dragon resists electric after all. Come on, don't you know your type matchups? Let's get rid of all these enemies. Getting rid of all these enemies will be helpful here. I would definitely recommend if you try getting rid of every enemy as possible. We gem cutters are a bit too short to climb these ladders. It looks like you are too. After you learn to climb, come back to Glimmer to see me. Aw, oh, you sure I can't climb? I got claws. Uh, okay, no, I guess not. These ladders! Spyro can actually learn how... Spyro can act... Sorry, <clears throat> excuse me. Spyro can actually be able to climb up here. But unfortunately, he can't do it right now. This is one of the biggest parts of this game. We are going to be doing a lot of backtracking in this game. So for that reason, we are going to be able to come back here later. I will make a mention of when we will come back here, but for now, we're just going to move on. There is an objective that we can do, but unfortunately, we are not able to do it. Let's move forward and... Ah, you must be the dragon everyone's talking about. Well... Dragon or not, I'm afraid there is a small fee to open the bridge. It will cost you a hundred of your gems to cross. A hundred gems? I got 132. I mean, I could just glide over there, but it's probably a big, of an, a big gap that I probably wouldn't be able to make it. Fine. Since you are the keeper of this land, a lot of people don't like this guy. I will go over him another time, but right now we need to do with that um, half 
animal does. Thank you, Mr. Dragon. Uh, Spyro, was it? You can now use the bridge whenever you want, free of charge. I hope we meet again when you have even more gems. Um, before I go across this bridge, I'm gonna get rid of this guy. Uh, big enemies, uh, cannot be charged at. Spyro has two movesets. He can charge, and he can also use a fire, he can also fire breathe. Now, unfortunately, charging won't work. He's too bulky. Because of that, you have to flame him. He doesn't really have that good material. He doesn't have really good, um, uh, fire retardant material, or fire protective material. We're gonna go over here and now, now we have the chance, we're gonna go this way now. To get a good look around, press the action button. Try using action to look around this cave. Yeah, um, I mentioned this in the first playthrough. This is not the greatest to do. I mean, it's good sometime, but a lot of the time you can't really zoom in. This is the best zoom in you could even do. It's fine. I'm not a huge fan of it, but it works in some cases. Um, oops, I did not mean to do that. I thought I would have enough height to glide over there. Uh, let me try that again. Um, one. Uh, you know what? I'll get rid of you first. I'll get another soul point. Uh, can I actually even get up there? I don't think I. I don't think I can. Can I? Can I actually get up there? I think, nah, I think I'll be fine. Yeah, I think I'll be okay. Let's go over here. Uh, yeah, I don't think I can get up there right now. Um, this is another reason why we'll be backtracking. We're going to have to come back here so if we want 100%. Yeah, this is uh, this is one of the epitomes of backtracking. I think you could charge at that guy. I'm not really sure, but I decided to just burn him just for the heck of it. Um, I'll get these gems first and... Oh, let's talk to you. Ooh, you got a blue helmet. Spyro, thanks for helping us fight off the lizards. Please take this talisman of glimmer as a sign of our gratitude. Does this mean I'm an official miner now? This magic portal next to me will take you to Summer Forest, one of the home worlds of Avalar. Thanks, buddy, but I really do want to try to get all these gems here before I do go on. I, will, I promise it won't take too long. But I will go over Sparks right now. Sparks is a dragonfly. Apparently, Sparks is the health meter of Spyro. Don't know how how Sparks would be a... I don't know how a dragonfly would be a health meter, but he has three stages of health. He has a, a gold, um, a gold uh, color. He has blue and then green. And then once you don't have Sparks, he you just take a, you just take one hit and you're out. What you can do to restore him is getting by but is getting butterflies. Basically, get him from enemies that don't feel like attacking you, like this ladybug. I know f some of you are really big fans of ladybugs, but I'm sorry, my my bug comes um, comes first, I guess. Uh, I will charge. I will go over here. These little uh, pots give you gems, uh, different from the treasure chests, actually, from the first game. You can charge them or flame them. Either way, you can get gems out of these. Uh, I also want to get rid of you! And, oh, that's activated somehow. Get rid of you, too. So, uh, let's talk to you. Great! The Superfly power-up is active, and you can restart our gem lamps. Flame all the lamps quickly, and the big gem lamp will light. The power-up will give you enough magic to fly for a short time. So, if I want to, I can accept this challenge. But... Since we are going to be coming back here soon, I don't really think it's necessary. Plus, I felt like I, I feel like I've been here long enough. I just wanted to just come by here and get the gems. Because we're going to do a lot of backtracking, we are going to be able to come back here later. And so I figured when we do come back, we can kill two birds with one stone. Or two ladybugs with one fire breath, fire breath if that makes any sense. So, without further ado, let's head on in. As you can see, we're flying around. We're entering Summer Forest. There are going to be a lot of load times in here, and the load times are pretty slow a lot of the time. 
So anytime we will we will come into this, I will edit these over. I will basically cut them out. Until then, let's just keep flying and see where this portal takes us. No. Oh, hello. We didn't get a chance to introduce ourselves before. My name is Alora. Uh, hi. I'm Spyro. What are you, some kind of goat? I'm a fawn, you dork. Oh, sorry. Did you meet the gem cutters in Glimmer? Yeah. They gave me a souvenir, too. They called it a talisman. They gave you a talisman? What, is it special? I just stuck it in the guidebook you gave me. Well, there are 14 talismans in Avalar, and they are all magical. If you can collect enough of them, they can be used to defeat Ripto. Hunter, where have you been? Oh, I, uh, got a little lost. Spyro's gonna help us collect the talismans. I am? He is. Spyro, look, there's no way you can get to Dragon Shores right now. Ripto and his monsters have taken over the castle here in the Summer Forest. You're going to have to go to Avalar's world and convince the inhabitants to give you their talisman. You can keep them in your guidebook. Hey, I could do that. Why doesn't the dragon just torch Ripto? Hunter, you can't even keep track of your running shoes. How can we trust you with 14 talismans? <gasps> if you come across any orbs, they're important too. But I'll tell you about them later. Okay, no problem. I'll collect a few talismans, give Ripto the old hot foot, and be in Dragon Shores by lunchtime. I'm not really sure about that, but while we get ready to get Spyro ready for Ripto, I want you all to take in the beauty that is Summer Forest. Enjoy. This is the homeworld called Summer Forest. There are portals to many of the Avalar worlds around here. Unfortunately, Ripto has taken over the castle, and we need your help. Start by retrieving the talismans from each of the worlds you visit. You heard her. We're gonna have to try to get all the talismans in here. It's basically like the first game, but a lot more grander. I mean, look at this place. I. Oh, man. This takes me right back to being a little kid again. Just, when I was a kid and I played the original on PS1, I never stopped coming here. I always just loved searching around. I always just loved moving around and just taking it all in and seeing this all remade. Sometimes I just want to come here just to relax, you know, when I'm not doing anything. It's that good. I recommend if you are playing this, be it the original or, or this. Because even though the original is very retro, it still has its charm at the, at the end of the day. Just come here and take it all in whenever you can. It's really nice. Remember, press the jump button, then press jump again to glide. What would you know, Hunter? You don't even know how to glide. Like, you, you just learned about dragons, like, what, today or so? We're going to head over here. If you didn't think it was going to get this grand, look at this. Just look at... Wait a minute. Oh, I thought Hunter was there. He wasn't. But just look at this area. Just look at this. And before I do anything else, in the first game... Spyro couldn't touch water. You would die. Not anymore. Only take traveling to another dimension for it to not be poison anymore. Either that or he's more grown up now. 
we're gonna head over this way. Uh, these bases right here cannot be flamed. You have to charge at them. So, so you can get some lovely jemmies. We could learn a little bit more. We could have we could learn about this place a little more. We could get more jemmies, as we should. Uh, these frogs, we could get some more butterflies out of them. Even though they're not really necessary. Um, I want to try to get a little more gems. As you can see, there are a lot of portals here. Sparks, the dragonfly following you around is your health indicator, Spyro. The brighter he is, the more hit points you have. I kind of already explained that, but thank you. Um, by the way, I didn't get to mention this, but the other, um, the other fairy, uh, pretty sure we, uh, pretty sure, um, we, I pretty sure I remember her name. Her name is Zoe. Um, for those who remember, oh, I picked up the butterfly. For those who remembered my very first LP, I didn't think it was, I got, um, rescued by a fairy, uh, who, Wanted to get some loving. Uh, you'll have to see that episode. I think it was episode 16, I believe. And I just ended up naming her Zoe, except it was with an E-Y. So, yeah, this was kind of a... I didn't think I, I was... I was like, eh, do I really want to name her? I'm like, no. That's what came to mind. There's, you know, there's two kinds of Zoes. One with an E-Y, one with an E. You know, different, different variations of that. But let's talk to Hunter. Hi, Spyro. You look like you're pretty agile. Let's try putting it to a test. See if you can get up this first step. Press the jump button and hold it down to get more hang time. If you say so, dude. Oh, wow, I couldn't even get that right. Oh my gosh, look at this water. Look at this water, look at this water. Okay, not bad. Now to make this next jump, you'll have to glide. Press the jump button, then press jump again at the top of your jump to get the maximum glide distance. All right, let's see you. Oh, yeah. You definitely showed me how to glide. Thanks, Hunter. Nice job. Now, try to do a hover. Press the jump button, then press jump again to glide. When you reach the end of your glide, press the action button to hover. Hovering will give you extra height and distance. Spyro can learn new moves now. And not just this one. There are many other moves that you can learn, just like that ladder ability that we saw. That won't be for a while, but there are going to be other abilities that you can learn, and it's glorious. We are going to learn how to hover. We're going to jump, glide, and then X. This is what the first game needed. I remember in the first game, there were times where I ch I kept gliding, and every time I tried to glide, I just I, I felt like I was at the tip of my jump. I think because the gliding mechanics got nerfed here, but... Thank goodness we have the hover! Oh my gosh. Even in the original, the hover was a little better, but this one, the hover is very important. Very good. Now for the hardest leap of all. You'll have to give this one everything you've got. Get a walking start, jump, glide, and hover just before you get to the edge of the platform. Don't forget to press forward on the left stick when you hover. Got it. All right, let's do this. Again, look at this water. Anyways. Focus, Chris. Focus. Hit, hit, hit. Oh, that was Wow, fun. you're a pretty good athlete. If I hadn't lost my running shoes, I'd take you on for real. For now, here's an orb for your collection. These orbs are going to be important, as, as Alora always said. I gotta say, even though I've done this before, the in the original, you press... Uh, X, which is on the bottom part, which is on the which is the bottom button, and then press triangle to hover. In in this one, it feels weird. Like yes, it's the same positions. I press X to hover and 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 B to glide on the switch because uh, I'm playing the switch version actually. But I don't know why it feels weird. I feel like I my thumb is not really like it can't really graze on the X button, which is weird because I'm playing the Joy Cons, which. Um, are, which have the buttons really close together, but I feel like I have to let go and then hit it because if I let go, I'm just going to fall, so I can't just let go of the button as far as I know. Let me see. Oh, no. Yeah, never mind. I can't. I, I, I thought I had to hold the button to glide. Never mind. It's been a while since I played this game. Give me a break. 
Okay, so yeah, then I can just press X. Yeah, this is actually a lot better. Forget I said anything. This is actually a lot better. Don't even worry about it. We're going to go over this way, even though it doesn't really matter. The hover is definitely what we need, especially in this version. And now, speaking of other moves, there's another move we can actually learn right now. Let me pick up these gems. And we're going to talk to big old Richie Moneybags over here. Sorry, Spyro. I'd love to teach you how to swim underwater, but not as much as I'd love to take your treasure. We need 500 gems in order to do this. But we can learn how to swim. Mr. Moneybags over here. One of the jerkiest characters in the Spyro community or in the Spyro universe. Yeah, not fun. It's kind of a shame that, um, it's kind of a shame that, you know, it's, yeah, not a lot of people like Moneybags because he is a rich, snobby, mm, pain in the keister. I do want to say, Moneybags' has, uh, design has actually changed through development. In the original, he kind of looked a little adorable. He's, he looked like something you want to give him a hug. Because of that, I felt like I wanted, I really, I kind of liked Moneybags, but I just, I didn't really notice the character. I just liked his design in the original. This one, yeah, I feel like I don't like him here, uh, which, which, in, which is in good reason. Now, I did say I want to search this area a little more, and I do. But I don't feel like it's worth going into a portal because I thought I had a lot more things to do here. But now that we got acquainted with Alora, with Hunter, and all that, um, I'm gonna do. I, I'm gonna actually. Should, do I need to search anything? I'm gonna keep searching and see what we can get as of this point. Gotta yeah, pick up this gem right here. Oh, there's a bottle with a blue butterfly. Blue butterflies give you extra life. In the first game, you would get not only blue butterflies from the sheep if you get 10 of them, but there was also, um, there was also uh, dragon statues that you would get to also get an extra life. Unfortunately, it doesn't exist. Only butterflies exist. Because after all, it does give Sparks some health after all. There's another blue butterfly here. Can't go wrong with getting more lives. Oh, man. Um, so, yeah. Blue butterflies can now be in contained in bottles and not just in sheep. In the first game, in, in, the, uh, in the PS1 uh, version of Spyro the Dragon, the blue butterflies did not exist until Spyro 2. But, of course, since the, re since the Reignited Trilogy was made, they decided to give the blue butterflies when you collected 10 butterflies from via sheep or any other bug. Or any other creature that doesn't attack you. Although, some people say that, you know, a lot of people say the sheep won't hurt, hurt you. But, again, that's not mentioned to Hugo, a.k.a. from the Skylanders franchise. So, I feel like we acquainted everything around here. So, because of that, I was thinking of just um, kind of stopping the video here. And then also, um, kind of also just... Just, like, not do anything because we're going to go into our next portal really soon. And I was thinking of doing that right now. But because of that, I didn't think we were going to uh, finish the lot right now. So I want to go back to Glimmer and see if we can do that um, that little uh, lamp thing that they were talking about. Maybe we can kill these, kill, uh, not, well, not kill these two birds with one stone. Well, technically, yes. But I feel like we can attack these objectives and then we can end it off right. See you back at Glimmer. Oh, by the way, you're technically kind of starting over, except with no gems. Uh, so keep in mind, you're going to need to kill all these enemies again if you want to get their soul points. Because if you remember, those soul points have to be 10. So we have to get 10 soul points in order to do this. How did I miss a gem? I, I thought I got that one. Um, why are you giving me another talisman? I just this got it. Next to me will yeah, thanks, game. I... Don't ask me why I gave it. I guess it's like a New Game Plus thing. I don't know. Um, let me get... Hold on. I got to get rid of you. And get rid of you. Haha. -ha. There we go. Oh, there's a whirlwind here. Oh, I could have gotten those gems. Oh, well. Um, might as well try to complete this now. 
Great! The Superfly power-up is active, and you can restart our gem lamps. Flame all the lamps quickly, and the big gem lamp will light. The power-up will give you enough magic to fly for a short time. So, let's do this. If you remember in the first game, if you've seen it, you have a little bit of a meter to control it. Guess what? We can fly now! No more controlling in the freaking fly stages. It's not time limited. Thank Eon Almighty! Oh, man. Uh, I'm so glad for this, though. It's not a big thing. Um, I'll say that. Although I am running technically out of time uh, here. But I finished it. Thanks for helping me light the lamp, Spyro. A fairy gave me this orb, but I like gems better. You take it instead. In retrospect, I probably could have done this earlier, but I wanted you to in just take in Summer Forest. I mean, come on. Why wouldn't you like this pl that place? I want to go up here because the wor I didn't know that this whirlwind existed. And I want to go this way and get these gems. And then I want to head this way. Should have hovered. Should have hovered. I got to remember, the hover exists now. This is Spyro 2. Okay. And then hover. Oh, what? Uh, we really doing this? We really doing this? Okay. Try again. Come on. You got this. You got this, Chris. Huh? Glide. Hover. There we go. Okay. Remember, don't hold the glide button, Chris. Okay, Chris. I promise not to hold the glide button. You promise? I promise. Pinky promise. How can we pinky promise? We're both the same person. Well, we have the same hands. Okay, fair enough. Pinky promise. Got it. Uh, okay. I think that's everything. So, now it's not everything, everything, but actually, I want to try something. I want to try something. Well, first, I got to go here. Actually, there's another area. What's this? I think we could probably do this. These little lizards have eaten my entire crop of gems. I've tried hitting them with rocks, but they're too fast for me. You can try using one of my rocks. If you have any questions, just ask me. So, let's see if we can get a little bit of help with this mice. What? If you want, you can also use your lock on. You will get a cursor for this. That way you can actually get a name on this. Goodbye. Nice shooting. Follow me to the next lizard. You got it, buddy. We'll be right there. Well, first I want to get these gems, if I can. Come on. There we go. And then let's go to... Where are you? Oh, there you are. Let's charge over here. Wow, you jumped pretty high for a mouse. Were you part rabbit or something? You can spit pretty far, Spyro. See if you can spit all the way to the lizard. I think I could give it a try, hopefully. Oh, wait, where's the rock? Oh, right here. Rock, ready, aim. Ah, timing me with your with your tail, huh? Oh, I'll, I'll give it to that. And fire! Ha! Don't, don't shake your butt at me, dude. Okay, oops. Oh, jumping exits the lock, cool. All right, what's next? To hit that lizard up high, you'll have to aim. Press the action button to aim, then press the attack button to spin. Uh, dude, I already did that the first time. I guess I know how to work ahead of you. Uh, no, I did. I meant to block. There we go. And fire! Ha! Right in the booty. Where to next, my guy? Come on. Wow, oh, you sure are going places. Can I even get up there now? Will you let me up there? No? Okay. Where are you? Where? 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 Oh, you're up there. You can pick up no. A rock in your no. I I know what I'm supposed to do. I'm just trying to get a name. Uh. And... Fire! Some people say there... Some people might say, maybe if at first glance, you might think it's a little too much variety, but... This just works. You just, you're learning a lot of new things, and I know it feels like a lot of things to swallow, especially on the first time, but this just goes to show you there's more to Spyro 2 than meets the eye, and how did I miss these gems? 
Um, I actually forgot to go over what Sparks does. Um, I'll have to do it another time. Um, there's another thing that Sparks does that helps you get gems. I will go over that later. Oh, he's moving, but that's not going to stop him. In fact, I better do this right now. Sparks, if you click in the left stick, he will tell you what gems you are missing. And apparently I missed them over there. What? Uh, uh, hello? Um, do I go up here and then glide there? Oh, no, I know what to do. Uh, jump up here. And jump here. Where are you, buddy? Are you... Where are you? You know, I think I might remember you guys also being creepy in the original. Um, oh, no, I did not. Okay. I did not. I did not. I did not talk to you. I did not. Sorry. Um, here we go. Uh, and fire. No, I missed. That's fair. I had a feeling it wouldn't work. Okay, let me try one more time. It's going a little long, but no worries. Um, fire! Yay! You've saved my crop of gems from the lizards! Here, take this orb! Some girl with wings dropped it here yesterday. Probably one of them fairies. Give me my orb, dude. Mm, looks like a jawbreaker. I want to eat it so bad. Um, I'm missing some gems over here. Thanks, Sparks. You are the man, or the, the fly. Uh, anything else? Oh, I'm missing these guys. Yeah, a lot of things you can do here. I know it feels like I'm kind of rushing through the mechanics, but I really want to try to uh, show off that there's a lot of things that's why we could do it. Oh, I bowled! I'm a bowler! Bowling! Okay, just kidding. Um, is there anything else here? I don't think that's it. I don't think, no, I don't think that's, there's any more I could do. I, I, I kind of should have said I think that's it. With that, I'll meet you back at Summer Forest. If that's not enough charm to show you how great this game is, I don't know what is. We're back here at Summer Forest. And next time on Sparrow 2, Ripto's Rage, we're going to head forward and explore our next portal. And hopefully, see what else we can unlock for this little purple dragon. With that, I'll see you all next time. Peace out, guys. <laughs>